If you're trying to choose between SEMrush versus RFs, this video is going to make the decision much easier. And before we get into the full SEMrush versus RFs review, I need to mention something quickly because most people miss it. There is a SEMrush and Tutorial Stack Special 14-Day Pro Trial that gives you full access to the SEMrush Pro Plan so you can fix your site issues, find profitable keywords, and even steal your competitors' traffic. You can only get this through my link in the description, so check that out if you want the best deal available. Now, let's get into the real SEMrush versus Ahrefs comparison and see which one actually fits your SEO needs. Both SEMrush and Ahrefs are excellent SEO platforms, but they're built with slightly different goals. SEMrush is more of an all-in-one marketing suite, while Ahrefs is a very powerful, focused SEO tool. So, depending on what you need, one of them becomes the clear winner. Let's start with the user experience. Ahrefs has a very clean, simple interface. It loads fast, the navigation is straightforward, and you can jump directly into Keyword Explorer, backlinks, or site audits within seconds. SEMrush has a much bigger interface because it packs in more tools. It can look busy at first, but after a little time, it becomes a full SEO and marketing workspace. You can manage content, PPC, social media, audits, keywords, and a lot more all in one place. So if you prefer simplicity, Ahrefs wins. But if you want more power and more tools in one platform, SEMrush ends up giving you a lot more long-term value. Now, let's talk keyword research, because this is one of the biggest parts of any SEMrush versus Ahrefs comparison. Ahrefs has a huge keyword database with around 29 billion keywords. Their Keyword Explorer gives detailed search volumes, keyword difficulty, click data, traffic potential, and SERP analysis. SEMrush has over 26 billion keywords, and their Keyword Magic tool is incredible for organizing keywords by search intent, whether informational, commercial, or transactional. This makes planning content and mapping buyer journeys much easier. So Ahrefs wins on raw keyword data, and SEMrush wins on structure and strategy. Next is backlinks, which is one of the biggest deciding factors in the SEMrush versus Ahrefs review. Ahrefs is known for having one of the strongest backlink databases in the world. Their domain rating and URL rating metrics are industry standards. This makes Ahrefs slightly better overall for backlink discovery and link building. But SEMrush has improved massively in the last few years, and their backlink audit tool is excellent for spotting toxic links and managing your backlink health. SEMrush is great here, but if your main focus is backlink discovery, outreach, or link building, Ahrefs still has a small but clear edge. Now, let's talk pricing, because this is where many people get confused. What I recommend is SEMrush One, which is part of their introductory pricing lineup. SEMrush One gives you the best of every world, traditional SEO tools, AI search tools, and GEO tools all in one place. It also includes the AI Visibility Toolkit and a range of upgraded features that help you track visibility, analyze competitors, and plan your SEO strategy. The starter plan costs $165.17 per month billed annually. The Pro Plus plan costs $248.17 per month billed annually. And the Advanced plan costs $455.67 per month billed annually. These plans are designed to give you everything you need for modern SEO, AI search, and multi-location tracking. SEMrush also has other plans for their separate toolkits if you only want content tools or local SEO tools. But SEMrush One gives you the most balanced package with the highest value. Ahrefs has similar pricing, but the biggest issue with Ahrefs is the credit-based system. Almost everything you do, like keyword lookups, backlink checks, and site audits, uses credits. And when you run out, you either wait until next month or pay more. This is one of the biggest reasons people switch from Ahrefs to SEMrush. SEMrush doesn't use credits, which means you can work more freely without worrying about limitations or surprise costs. 
Now, let's talk content tools. RFs has Content Explorer, which is great for spotting trending topics and finding content that gets links. SEMrush, however, takes content tools further. Their Content Marketing Toolkit connects directly to Google Docs, helps with tone, readability, keyword usage, and even suggests improvements. If you run a content-heavy SEO strategy, this alone can save you a ton of time. Finally, let's talk value. If you are a solo SEO, a link builder, or someone who only needs keyword and backlink data, AREFs might be enough. It's clean, it's fast, and it's amazing specifically for backlinks. But if you want an all-in-one SEO platform that covers keywords, content, audits, visibility, social media, competition analysis, and even PPC insights, then SEMrush is simply the more complete tool. With SEMrush One, you get the best mix of every toolkit and a much better long-term setup. So here's my personal take in this SEMrush versus Ahrefs review. Ahrefs is excellent, but if I could only use one tool, I would pick SEMrush because it's more versatile, it has no credit limits, and it gives you more tools for your entire SEO strategy. And if you want to try it yourself, don't forget the SEMrush and Tutorial Stack Special 14-Day Pro Trial. The link is in the description, and it gives you full access to the pro plan for free so you can test everything without risk. Thanks for watching my SEMrush vs. Ahrefs comparison. If you have any questions about SEMrush vs. Ahrefs pricing or features, feel free to ask in the comments.